This is what's happening with the portfolio today. What went up, what went down, what the gain is, and what all what the overall portfolio situation is. So if you need to go and call this client or the client calls, say how's everything going, you can speak towards that. So what you'll be doing in this class uh, um, is showing you how to act like a portfolio manager. Okay. Um, one of the other things that I told we spoke about is that you know for those who work by us in here, yes, the stock values will you know go up and down and move all these ups and values and stuff like that. That's and then you know if that's the situation and this is you today, right? You don't jump and say, but oh the stock price went down. What you do is you look at the historic, what we call the historic trends. So as long as you see the historic trends going, you know, in an upward direction, then you can say you can keep the stock because you know the stock price might have a temporary dip, but you might have been expecting that dip. What we'll also talk to do is that after you after you do um, a few um, um, sessions of that, in terms of saying, well, this is where we are right now, then we'll we'll go to the next phase, which is to say that what how can you you know, you, can, you don't, no one knows, otherwise there will be multi-millionaires. If I know, I'm, I'm going to be telling you guys, right? Not until I got my own little pot, my little um, uh, um, pot of gold secure. But the point is that um, as bankers, you may, you um, would be innocent your money, thank God. Oh. <laughs> and then sometimes it is your money dialed on it, right? But either way, would we want to then do this, the next step is to say, well, how do you go to the whatever information is available to you to say that okay this is what's happening with the stock but based on reports coming out or based on expected reports perhaps the stock will go down or we expect the price to go up you see um, and we'll, we'll talk more about that okay and where is some of the Excel on this <coughs> the base Excel, where? Mm -hmm. where, where, where the mouse is? Oh, Excel, okay. And then this is the Yahoo? Right. Here? Right here, Internet Explorer. Okay, okay, good, good, good. Thank you, dear. Okay. <coughs> so then, let's go first of all to the Excel spreadsheet so we can understand, get, get, get that part over and done with. Y'all can see this, yes. Mm -hmm. okay. <coughs> so, um, you can um, call Danford, and he can email it to you. Okay. So then, the first thing let's do go here. Um, did, that, um, what is today's day? Today is January sixteenth. So let's yeah, let's use January sixteenth because that will be there. January um, six. Wait, wait. Let's go here. Back here. Uh, it's backspace anyway. January. Um, yeah, January sixteen. What are we doing? Thinking. Sorry. Sixteen and <coughs> January then twenty third. Eh? Right? January 30th. <coughs> and then this would be, I guess, February 6th or something. Okay, so this is the current information portfolio. So this is the current portfolio. You'll have 10 companies that you're going to identify, one through 10. You don't have to write anything down. You get everything from your spreadsheet, right? What you have here is the last, um, uh, last price, right? And then you have here your purchase price, which is what you call your current information. This should be um, one hit to original portfolio. OK, this is your original investment, OK? OK, 
Okay. So this is where you have the original investment. Okay. On the original investment page, guys, the only thing that you're putting inside here, you see here, last price is the same as buy price because that's the day's day. There isn't, there is no change because you know, you haven't done anything yet. Okay, so this is when you are setting up your portfolio. Okay, straightforward. So, th this is tr if you fail this page, get out of the class now. <laughs> I am sorry, I don't have time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that, like they say, right? <laughs> so, this is your original um, um, stock portfolio price um, um, portfolio here. Okay, and this here. You're going to have a, 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 a you have a you can spend you can spend your money two hundred and fifty thousand dollars, okay. You're going to then identify a company and you put you put the company symbol here and the name of the company here, okay. The name of the company here and the uh, um, New York the, the New York the stock trading code here, okay. Mm -hmm. Then you once you identify. Do you want to identify what um, put, put companies that are that you're interested in? I would say put the names, the stock code, and the last price. Start off with that. Then you have to decide how many units you want to purchase. So, okay. So, excuse me, Mr. Nimo. Mm -hmm. Do you have the numbers? That's what. Do you think you should put the code in there saying stock code so we remember what that column is for? Wait, 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 say number what? One through, one through ten. That's for the stock code, right? Which row? This here? No, no, no. Yeah. No, this is port portfolio number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's just portfolio. Right. Sorry, no, you have ten, you have, you have, you have ten stocks here. This is one sale. That's ten stocks there. And this is the symbol of your company here. Okay? That's how that is. So that's a very good point. If you don't understand, just let me know. So you identify your ten companies. And their and their symbols, and then the, the, when you go on Yahoo and when you go on you are well, as you go on Yahoo Finance, then you put in the price units here. The, 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 the unit price is what you're putting there. Okay, don't worry about this here yet. This here is going to be self-calculating. After you do that, let's say this here is Coca-Cola, right? And you may say, well, this is the number of shares. This column here is the number of shares you want to purchase in that company. So if you say you're going to purchase 500 shares, right? Where's the cursor? With 500 shares, you see what's that, what happened here? Mm -hmm. but this went up. When you scroll over here, and this, this is, um, when you when all use it, it's going to show you the full thing. But you know what, guess what? we could scroll over more. Why? Because you know over to the left is the name of the company. We don't care about the name of the company now. Just this, this here. Let's just concentrate on this. So when you do this here, what is this now? I know. Just click on. Just click on the Excel. Excel, yeah. Okay, just click on Excel. Sorry, I'm I'm going between glasses and that, so that's why I need probably bifocals. So you see here, this is the five hundred thousand, five hundred units at that price, and then this will show you the value. Of your portfolio in that particular stock. Now, don't put none with no, with, well, I say not to put coins, but if we have coins, we have coins, that's the problem. Then you can say, but if you have 200 of this, mm -hmm. the price right? Not the price, but the value of portfolio the value. changes. You see that? So if you see, if you, let's pay attention, we look at column L. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. You see? Yeah. This, if you put this, you put this at 300. That goes up. Mm -hmm. So of course that means over here Cash. your to total portfolio, uh, um, your total portfolio, you do your nine thousand dollars. You spend nine thousand dollars more than you have. Mm -hmm. So then you can say, well, okay, well let's go buy three hundred of this, and you're trying to bring this back down to two hundred fifty thousand. Okay, that's still too much. Okay, maybe two hundred fifty of this. Still too much. Okay, you may say I have all day, hundred of them. 248. Oh, I could buy a little bit more. 135. That looked like a good price. Let's stop right there. You do get the point. Yeah. This doesn't have to go to exactly $250,000, but don't let it go over, you know, because they only they give you a budget $250,000. And that's all that is setting up your portfolio. Okay? Your current information 
right, is as at the particular date. You see? Remember, we, we changed those units. Your current information here, the number of shares, you put that there in your portfolio. This is your original investment. That's not going to change. However, your current portfolio, right, if you put 500 of these here, well, what was this supposed to be for? 345. Let's do control Z. Control Z. Okay, that's, th thank you, there's 345, right? 345 here, and that was the, the value, that, that was the, the, on that particular date, that was the gain, in the market value. You, you went up on that particular day by $2,000, you see? On the 16th, that's that day's date, date there. Now let's go back here and say on the current information is, let's go back with the unit price. What if this went to 24.8? Okay, sorry, control Z. You can't do that. Uh, market, uh, last. This is the pay, this is the, la the, the column that says last is what you bear, whatever is the, the, the today's price is or the price on any of those ones at the bottom tab, that's what you put there, okay? So when you go here and you put this to $24.80, okay, you see the, 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 the gain and stuff, mm -hmm. right? Come off of that. So that will go up or down as necessary, okay? And then your total gain here will change your day's gain. So let's say this little bad boy here went to sixty-five dollars and seventy cents. You see how you, 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 it, 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 or everything's interrelated, okay? And then so that's the current information. What you will then do is you save each one of these as different days. Once you choose a company, you stick with that company straight through. Once you stick with the once you choose the company, you could stick with that company straight through. If you choose, if the stock is going up or down, you may choose to buy additional shares. If the the, the stock, if the price goes um 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 down, um, 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 down then you may decide to stay. You may decide to stay and hold the course. Right? Because you may say that's just a movement and it's the overall trend is going up. You're not going to dump it. Or you might decide to say, well, let me change it. I think I made, I made a mistake. So what we'll get from this particular course is you'll get the skills to, to say, how do you go about that? And in the real world, it, yes. keeping it is the right thing. Keeping it is the wrong thing. In the real world, selling it is the right thing, selling it is the wrong thing. We are just to determine how, as long as you can defend your decision to keep it, or you can defend your decision um, to, 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 to dump it. Now, yeah, if you see, right, and for example, if there was some negative press, and that's why we're going to go to Yahoo Finance, I want you to understand this first, before we go to Yahoo Finance. You go to Yahoo Finance to get your information to plot this, you see. Rather than you go into the New York Stock Exchange website, most persons will just go to the New York Stock Exchange website and then they have to go and investigate these things themselves. What I'm saying to you is that, hey, this is a trick to the trade. You don't have to go reinventing the wheel. And when you go through with Yahoo Finance, that will open your eyes to say, oh my gosh, yeah, I don't need to go directly to the stock market because all, all of that feeds directly into Yahoo Finance. And then you take the information from Yahoo Finance into your portfolio. You see? So basically, that's all that, it, that this is about. And what you then want to do is, whatever is the current information, will be as at the today's date. And then you also save that as the 16th here. Tomorrow will be the cu current date, 17th. And then you'd save that, resave that information under your tab on the 17th. And all you simply do on the 17th is you make sure the information, your current information, is on the tab. That's all. But basically, what I'm showing you is that you can create as many tabs here as you as necessary. Okay, make sense? Let's go, then go back here to Yahoo Finance. Okay, pick a company. Uh, Disney. I mean, I don't. Know, I, I actually don't know much about Disney. So when you go to Disney, 
Let's see if the information pops up. So this is how, we're not getting a listing of companies and then choosing from this. We have to put something to put in. Um, no, what you would want, you, what you may want to do is, you on your Excel spreadsheet or a piece of paper, put ten exact exact number of companies. Might be ten. It might be fifteen. It might be twelve. It might be twenty or, or whatever. You might you might write the companies down and say, I think I probably might be interested in that. I, we don't know nothing about Disney yet. Now I I, I just picked Disney mm -hmm. off the top of my head. And so if that was a company, now let's go to Yahoo Finance and see what Yahoo Finance is saying with Disney. We might have to drop them. You know, you know tell Mickey Mouse he needed to divorce <laughs> Minnie. <laughs> Minnie's spending too much money. I don't know. But we'll find that out. Oh, but, right. Listing, I thought you just that's why it's There's a listing that you just select 10. No, I remember, I, what I want you to do is that you and your group, you all will select 10 companies, right? But that you don't, if, if you just come up with only 10, Chances are the ten may be bad or the ten may be good, but out of the ten, two or three may be bad. So that's why I said probably you're going to have to limit it to ten. But my suggestion is probably do a list on your piece of paper of fifteen, and then um, as you find information on them, then you plot them in, 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 um, in on the Excel spreadsheet and Yahoo. But let's see what Yahoo is saying about Disney. So you come here and you click. Search, uh, um, search finance. Okay. So then, see, that's the code. D I S is the code right here. That's the code, right? Today's price. They look for today. They happen to have gone down a few, but. You see what's happened? Let, let's see. Okay. You can read your analyst's opinion. You can do research reports. Before we do that, go to the company, the company profile. Okay. company profile. They have the address there, the information. They have all that stuff there. The summary of the business, the Walt Disney Company operates entertainment, blah, blah, blah. Who cares? Who cares? I'll read that when you have time. <laughs> okay? That's so that information. I'm just showing you all the information of the company is there. Over, over here. Um, over here, you have all the information of the executives. You, you would their salary is. Look at what? the salary. Yes. 70. Oh, I go and go. Oh. Mm -hmm. You know what? Oh, mini, wow. What mini number is? I think they call mini. Tell mini one lie about Mickey so she she can leave him. You know. But these the information on on, on the persons. The chief H, HR officer is the lowest paid at 1.7 million. You know. And then you have this information. So all that information is right there. That we'll go. I will cover that. But that's the company, the company information. If you want information on the income statement, what did I do? Open up another page. Hold on, hold on. Click on the X up to the right. No, 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 no problem. All that sort of stuff is right there. Okay. Now, remember, press releases. You can come right here on the press release, and a whole bunch of stuff here. What they say about Disney? Sir. Well, before we go, go before we get to that, I want to show you rather than use something to sit and do the financial analysis yourself. I'm going to show you tools to use. So you have the information right there on their press releases, you know, and all these could be good, bad, or, or, or indifferent. What the point, what the reason why I came to press releases is because the information that's in the media is non-financial, but it could result in financial. Yeah, it could yeah. make or break you. Yeah. Could make or break you. It could have a financial impact. When we spoke earlier about Dobbs, um, jobs with with um, um, the Apple company. 
you have the message board and all that sort of stuff here yeah, and then all this is press releases that they do and this is news re news headli headlines that they don't do okay historical prices is what you is the best bet is at the end of the day you could do all the financial analysis who's who said but the balance sheet okay we, we could come back to that mm -hmm. but what happened is that at the end of the day you could you could slice and dice that balance sheet and do all analysis of it, mm -hmm. right? And then come statement. Mm -hmm. But what is it that I think that you should be doing, making your decision by? It's historical prices. You see, the historical prices. Now you could have the option if you look at it daily. That's way too much information. Weekly is too much information. So do monthly, right? Who cares from 1962? That's too far back. So let's say from the year, um, that is going to have 12, so let's do the last two years. 2000, well, this is only 14 now. So let's do 2011. So that'll give us all the 11, all the 12, all the 13. No, that's, we could do 2012. 2012, that's, that's give us a good idea. We didn't want to hurt our head today. So you could go right here and you, you put 2012. To that, to the day, that to today's day, and you click here, right? Get prices. Okay. Get prices. Is this touch screen? No. Okay. Even my little laptop is touch screen. Y'all don't play with me, you know. <laughs> see here? So this is what you're looking at here. You see the close, the, the trend. You see the close, the, the prices here, mm -hmm. right? You're looking at the closing. Look at the close price. Yeah. Today's date is seventy-four dollars. Okay, seventy-four dollars. But you see, look, um, um, now bear in mind, bear in mind, this is this is. But, but, but happened, guys? Bear in mind is that if this is the day, but you see, this is today's day, and this is the, this is the month ago. But all of these is so. What you want to do is try to look like from here, and you see, grow, 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 grow. So in this case, this is just this is not decline. One, this is all growth so far. So here, so, so basically, you can see, well, okay, February last year was fifty-four dollars. Could you imagine? Wow. If you had bought some of that chest one year ago, fifty-four dollars to seventy-three dollars. That's twenty dollars. Okay. So that's twenty dollars gain on each share that you would have had so far, right? Okay. Um, so let's just write that down before we forget, just as an idea. It was twenty-four dollars, twenty, twenty. Sorry. 54. 15, 15, close, 54.59, and it's now 74.28. No, 74.28. So the value. So, no, no, I, I, I want to show you guys the decision on the Excel spreadsheet. You see? So they so, opened with the 7604. So when you put in the right, they, they opened the... 7604, sometimes you'll find is that is there will be a slight variation between these because it's the exact time of the day. Most times it's the same. So it's close, 7054, open, 7654. You see? Sorry. Uh, open, 7054. So it'll be a slight, yeah, over, over, overnight activity. What time do they open? 68, 69. Uh, um, we're gonna get the, that's why they have an adjustment to the closing day. You see, but this just go be the original line there. What you're looking at in this particular case is when you do your plot, you do use the, the whatever the closing price is for today's day. Okay. When you when you're doing your analysis, you look. You say, well, this is the company I want to invest in. You just come right here and you just say, oh my gosh, a year ago, two years ago, three years ago, you can see this is moving in a certain direction. All of these changes here, right, up and down, is a direct result of news medias, press releases, different activities, um, them com um, growing the, the sales and revenue, um, uh, uh, controlling the expenses. At the end of the day, the income going up, right, or being maintained. On the same token, they're paying their shareholders to keep the shareholders happy, and a whole bunch of things 
that goes in that you need to do to keep your shareholders happy and also to have the which will result in the stock price going up that um, going up bear in mind that uh, um, there has to be trading activity where persons are, are buying and selling if persons to buy and sell then you're not going to have no activity here in terms of change because it been change would have been zero point zero because no one bought or sold anything is that a good this sign? is the reason. Huh? Would you consider that a good sign? How would we determine? Um, it, 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 it could be, a, um, it's neutral. Mm -hmm. But you don't want that, it, 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 if there's no change, that's okay if everyone else's value went down. Mm -hmm. If there's no change and everyone's value went up, then that's a bad thing. If there's no change and based on your financial performance and on some negative price, uh, press release, there should your, your stock price should have dipped, then that's a good thing. If there's no change, but you just had a very good financial period and you didn't have these positive news, then that's a bad thing. Yeah. So the no change is relative to what's going on. So where would we look on the, on a chart like this and see there's no change in the closing? In the, in the closing, you'd see it would be the right. same. And don't forget you, whether you get whether you pick it up or not. When you put on your Excel spreadsheet, that will tell you what the, what the so change for that day was. was. Yeah. Uh -huh. But you see here, yeah, we can go back to Excel. In fact, let's do that right now before we go do anything else. Before we go do anything else with that. Okay. So let's just say, for example, um, the last price would have been here, would have been 74.2. Eight, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. uh, let's say that. Oh, okay, gosh, gosh, gosh. This is not my computer. <coughs> okay. The buy price is what you would have purchased it for. You don't change this. The buy price would have been the fifty-four point. Five nine. You see? I thought that was the closing price from previous year. Yeah, from from the previous year, two thousand and twelve. Yeah, that yeah. The closing price was seven. No, that's no, the, no, the, 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 the that's it been up, right? No, but no, no. I, we're just looking at the say, well, if we were, if we did this here, right? Yeah, so this would have been 50, do you would have purchased that at 54? 54.59. So say if that was us and we had purchased, um, um, say, uh, uh, um, our investment and that was only, um, would have been that much, right? Let's just say our investment was say 500 units. Mm -hmm. So we're going to just choose, or you choose five, the just say five, yeah, right? So you see, just say if we had invested um, um, 50, 500 times $54 is how much for someone? That's 25,000? Yeah, yeah, like so twenty five thousand, somewhat. Roughly, roughly twenty five, twenty five thousand dollars, right? Um, what will happen is that if we have done that, we would have had over thirty thousand dollars profit in just one year. You see. So, in any event, let's come back here. So you could the, the best thing to do is is to uh, um, use the historic price for the, um, your decision on what to invest in. And when you go to the historic price, you would just want to say, well, look for the last two, two years, the last three years, something of that nature. I have a question. Yes, uh-huh. So, okay, you say we have to do an oral presentation, right? Yes. In this presentation, are we presenting our spreadsheets to the class? In, in your, in your, the, the question was, um, the question is, when you do your present, your group presentation as to the stock portfolio you invested in, do you are you going to do um, a presentation of financials? Would you want to do? You you have some input and flexibility in that. 
What's the, the primary thing? I mean, I'll give you more guidance in, in this uh, when we get closer to it. No, you're not going to do a hit the star press um, um, thing. You, if, if anything, you could probably do um, a, a chart saying um, this is the, the, the valuation of, of the star from for the last 24, 24 months. And that's the reason why we would have invested in that. But the main reason why, what I'd want you to do when you do, to get, meet the main um, 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 information that you'd want to bring, present in your presentations is that this is stock and why we invested in it, right? What is your rationale for investing in it? Your rationale for investing in it could be a financial rationale, which is that just because of the clear um, financial stability and strength of this company, or because of the financial performance of the company, or because of the high rate of dividend payments, you see, could be your, your rationale. Your rationale could also be that uh, um, um, less focus on the financial performance, and then you could be more on the um, sentimental or the emotional aspect of it, whereby you may say that I invested in companies that I support, or I invest in companies that um, um, there uh, um, should be an ongoing demand. So let's come up with a rationale for rationale for um, Disney. Right. In the case of, of, of Disney World, you'll say that okay, our company decided to invest um, heavily or, or or reasonably heavily in in Disney, um, uh, um, whatever the proper name is. Disney was formed such and such date. They've they've been so in, in existence since 1962. They have a, a history of longevity. They were formed in 1962 with, um, by Walt Disney. Uh, it continues to be a a a, uh, a, a staple in American um, culture um, and, and entertainment. They um, have presence uh, um, in, in media. They, 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 uh, first of all, they have presence all, all over. It's a multinational company now. But they, they are involved with, um, with uh, movies and media. They are involved with paper products. They are involved with uh, um, um, the, um, the rides and charts, whatever that is called, amusement parks. They cater to um, young, ch from young children, persons from infancy, all infancy, all infancy even up to senior vacation. citizens. <laughs> right? So persons of all ages. There's no cutoff for this product in terms of price. They, uh, um, they for persons. And then you, when you look into the inter, inter, when you look at maybe the amusement park, you could probably speak more towards um, those amusement parks that that, that um, and the rides for the younger ones. But then the, the, over the years, they've also expanded rides that, that caters also to the adults. Mm -hmm. they also a, a, um, they've also become an um, all-inclusive destination in that they also have their own hotel facilities, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And within the hotel facilities are the meals and the like. So um, when you invest in Disney, you're also investing in a movie company. You're investing in a, a toy company. You're investing in a, um, a food and beverage company. You're investing in a hotel property. You're investing in a cruise line. You're investing in, in, in basically American pop culture. So that's the rationale in that this is ongoing. Um, also, the brand is well recognized, you know, pretty much anywhere in the world. You can then do research on Disney to say that Disney, I assume, is the number one tourist destination in the world. I was, I'm assuming that they are. Yeah. So things of that nature. And then tourism is the it is uh, um, is a major in this industry anywhere in the world. So that's the rationale why you want to do that. Um, having said this, um, um, from a um, from a financial perspective, we reviewed the financial performance of, of Disney um, that showed uh, in um, net income of X Y Z in 2000, increasing five years later in 2005 to so much, increasing five years later in 2010 to so much. Presently, the income as at the year ending 2013 was this. And you can say, well, this is the increase, in, increasing, increase um, um, net, net, net income. However, those are based on sales of this and that and that. So you show an ever increasing sales and ever increasing income. This directly corresponds with the, the share price increasing from $54 up to $74. Had we invested in this company back then, 
as an example, we would have had a gain of this amount. During that period of time, the, the, as with any company, there have been movements upwards and downwards in the stock prices. However, Disney is solidly increasing. For this reason, you know, we, we decided to, 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 to maintain um, our investment. So that is just stuff that comes off the top of my head. What you'll do is that you'll have um, time to properly type out your rationale, to uh, um, analyze rationale, and to, to, to come up with, like any essay, an introduction, a development, and a conclusion. And in between that you have your support, you see. And you have your power, your, your, your slide to present it. So we're gonna speak on the 10 companies? You'll speak on the 10 companies, okay. And and that's that. And so I, my, my, my comment would be to- So each bullet, one person? So, um, a brief, bullet meat, meat and potato, so just meat one. and potato, meat and potato, meat and potato. Okay, and if there's a particular company or the, if, there's, if there's something of significance, mm -hmm. like such as Disney is a landmark, a, 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 a household staple. Right, if you were to say, let's look at Coca-Cola. Well, actually, you know, you, you guys have an, I want you to understand, just stick with one company. Now, so this is why I chose Yahoo Finance because it is who you, are, you, are, you don't have to pay for it. It's free, <laughs> okay? And all this information is right there. You know, um, if you were to go here, these are some basic charts. Also, too, guess what, guys? If you want to, uh, um, you could select a number of. The good thing with this here, you see what's happening with Disney. Now that that's day day that's um daily. Um, I don't I don't think it's, it's there. That's the period selected. Yeah, period selected. Yeah. Yeah. January. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We gotta do this again next class. You see. Because it's just next class, just anymore. Sir? Are we going to go over this next class? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I just right. want to give it for you guys. Okay, okay. So, thank you. So you can have right there what's happening with the chart. But you see, it's generally going up. It's going, it's going in a general trend. Bear in mind, this is only two years. You, um, and you, you, when you invest in stocks, it's long term. So a five year um, would have been a probably better um, idea. You could also come here. You could do analyst opinions. Um, and, um, but you all, but you could do research reports, right? Mm -hmm. When you go on research report, um, this this is looking at um, from um, all all sorts of aspects. Now I think when you go on these, you have to pay pay for these. So probably let that do that. Mm -hmm. You have the SEC SEC filings. Oh, here's the, this is what I want you to do. You can like, look at industries, but most importantly, competitors. And then you, that, and, uh, if you have a general idea, you, for example, you might say, well, when you come up with your list of companies, we said Disney. But then you might say, well, oh, when you go to competitors, they might have a competitor here um, as um, Bush Gardens. They don't have them. But I would say Bush Gardens. Mm -hmm. So you can say, well, Bush Gardens, Six Flags. You can select the various ones. And I, I, quite frankly, I prefer Bush Gardens because to me, they're really more catered to old people. Also to uh, um, 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 adults, adults. Yeah, I don't, I don't have children. Yeah, I don't have, I don't have kids. But um, it, it Disney World is, is basically, you open it, it's a lot of um, uncovered areas. So you, you are exposed in the sun the whole time. I like Bush Gardens because it's more tropical and it's covered like that. Now here's the thing. Well, that's true. The Disney's be hot. It's be hot, yeah. right, yeah. right. But you go to Bush Gardens, you don't, you don't be hot yeah. at all because everything's covered. Right, right. right. Disney, Disney gets better. They get better. But here's the thing. Yeah, here's the so thing. Hot. But they go hot because all them dog on the children. Look at that. Most of the children come from up north and any event. They like the sun. We we we, we try to get away from it. Right. But here's the thing, guys. Remember, I don't have children, but I have 23 nieces and nephews. I, I you know, you know the niece, the tricks of the trade. Here's the thing: when you have you, you when you have the, your kids, what you do is you tell them, okay, what we're gonna do? We're gonna go to Bush Gardens first, and then we can go to Disney. If they cry, cry. Okay, we can go to Disney. If you all, we take you all to Disney, and then tomorrow we can go to Bush Garden. You may say that's too sad because they all anyone go, you know, those tickets are expensive. Yeah. But you all, you all, you all don't spend money unnecessarily. 
What you do is to take them to downtown Disney. <laughs> down, down, you, you know what I'm talking about? Downtown the, the Disney is 100% free. Well, the food oh. You just park and you go. <laughs> We're Disney World. <laughs> you pay <made> nothing. <laughs> you, That's what they used to do. They used to do masks on. Do they have Debs? Debs food as a child. Yeah. Yeah. So what do they have? With the stupid yeah. mascots yeah. with Mickey and them just walking up to They're just walking around. They have, oh they have different characters sweet. there, and they have all these activities there for free. And then you can, you can get the food, they have all the flowers and the plants, everything right downtown. Yes. Yeah. Well, I you have to go, you, and, and then if you want them to go on a little it's ride, they have the little, little small, little um, small dollar rides and stuff like that. <laughs> you have that. <laughs> so that's what you do. Now once they're adults, they, 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 they're interested yeah, they in Disney. So you do that and they're happy with it. But no, no, we went to Disney World. You find something saying Disney, and take the their picture. And they take their <laughs> you know, well, we just find something with Disney <laughs> saying taking a little picture and it stuff like that. Now. And because wow. of all the people walking, they can't, they ain't gonna figure out. And I mean, it's three loads of people busy. there. It's so busy but that the they feel that they're not in Disney. They are Disney, they're downtown free Disney, you know? And, 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 and if you don't have children, if, or if you have teenagers, or they're at a certain age, you can say, well, let's go back to Disney World. But when do we know that we go to downtown Disney, and with your park, what you could do with them, at that certain age, that's where you could go and you have lunch. They have a whole bunch of restaurants there. They even have Wolf, Wolf Gang Park there. You can go and have your restaurant, um, you know, sit down restaurant. And then you can go to the movie theater and see, see movies. Yeah, movies. See, see, you can see the movie, or all re any regular movies. But it's really, it's a really, really nice movie theater in Disney for the same price as any other movie ticket. And stuff like that. And then like what I did um, is um, last year, me and a friend, we went, to, uh, um, we went to see Cirque du Soleil. So different things you could do if they are an adult, you know. So in any event, but in any event, you, um, when you go in, you can go to competitors, and um, you can see the competitors, they will let you know the, the um, market capitalization. They let you know, look at the number of employees. And you can click here to find out who they are. But they have 175,000 employees at Disney. Right? They have a lot, yeah. Right? Um, revenue is 45 million. What does this mean, though, that applicable? What is the PBT one about? PBT one. They no longer traded, whoever that was. Yeah. Okay. Um, the, e the EBITDA, which is earnings before interest, taxes, depreciation, and amortization, is $11 billion. Right? Net income of $6 billion. Earnings per share of three point three three dollars thirty eight. Um, the price earning is twenty one. So this is really really good. So you see, so you could do it like that. So you could look at this, and you could so you could click here, and this will then take you to whoever the competitors are, and you could do that. But this is just a stock competitor comparison. Okay, so you could do that. Um, what about Walmart? No, no, look at this. So you can do that. If you want to profile the SEC filings, all that sort of stuff is there. Okay. Then you could also do um, um, analyst opinion. Oh, these, the, these, these, some um, here. The direct competitors are these ones here. Uh, Time Warner, Time Warner, um, and Fox 21st Century. But you see who they're comparing them, comparing them to. This is the, 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 the direct competitor here is Time Warner and, and, and Viacom because they're comparing Disney more on the, 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 the television yeah. session, session as opposed to Disney Entertainment Park. And Disney you see? movies. Mm -hmm. And that's why we said they're in so many different industries. If you were to go on, if you chose Apple, and you, and you and you only the, the, the good thing with Yahoo Finance is that when you, when you select one or two companies, right? Then when you do the the industry compare um, the competitive analysis, also be note of that because that too might lead you to another company that you may not be mindful of. 
you know. So you might know, when you do Apple, then they 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 would compare the, um, um, do comparison to other leading um, technology providers. You see, analyst opinion. No, we are barely up, marking up right now. So you see here, as at date, different dates, based on what was happening, they were recommending you to, uh, um, from, be, from basics, this is what they to asking you to do here, to be remit, note neutral, outperform, telling you when to buy, and what not, when to hold, and you see nothing says sell. <laughs> doesn't tell you when to, nothing is sell yet. But there may be certain companies that they may do. They may tell you uh, on what to do, and these are the opinions of different major uh, um, financial um, uh, um, providers. You see, I don't see RBC here, but I'm sure if you had a company that might have been well, these American stocks, right? But you, if this was a Canadian, um, if that Yahoo Finance, you probably put a Canadian stock here. There'd probably be RBC Capital telling you what to do. So it depends on who your confidence in. So if you have a confidence in St. Bar Barclays Capital and you respect them, this is what they told you to do. See, at some point in time, they told persons to downgrade and went to upgrade, right? If they downgrade, would not. No, no, but they, this, is, this is what they told you to do with the stock here. But this, this is when they said if they, if they thought the company was downgrading or upgrading, oh, okay. that they, if they were had a more favorable or whatever, and that is from day to day, you see, and and the day to day in terms of downgrade upgrade uh, is it would be a direct correlation to what's happening within the market. You see, so it's a very useful tool. Uh, um, 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 Yahoo Finance, and that's the um, um, that's the belt of, of it. They'll tell you who the financial um, major shareholders are, all of this. So what you would want to do is uh, um, go right here and with, and with not. There's also some very interesting stuff that are posted on the message boards. But don't forget, mind you, the message boards is uh, um, these that may not be um, properly uh, um, trained persons. So anyone can post on the message boards. So don't put too much, you know, um, trust and hope in that. So that's it. No, message board is right here. Yeah, news and info, yeah. So that's that's the whole point. So what I would want you guys to do is um, speak with your your classmates. Um, you're going to be divided into groups. So would be what we're going to be doing next week is I would want to maybe just come up with a list of companies that you guys think would be of interest, okay? And then we could go from there. But we'll also what you also start doing too is going through uh, um, um, your notes. Um, in terms of um, how the stock market is regulated, this that, and the other. But what I want you to do um, at the very beginning of this course is a selection of your stock portfolio. Once you select your stock port portfolio, guess what? You can then put that there, and we can then move forward with the rest of the... Um, hey, guys, what I would be going to be doing is I want you uh, next to, to over the weekend and next week to go and start identifying your selection of stocks. Get a jump start because it's going to be done as a group in, 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 uh, in any event. Um, the reason for that is that I, I want you to do this at the beginning of the course so that you will get out of the way, identification of your portfolio, you put your investment there. Because don't forget, your, um, you're going to be monitoring your stock performance over a period of time. So you're not, I'm not going to let you wait until the end of the term. They say, oh, I now know how, I now know how to use the Excel spreadsheet. Oh, I now know how to use our finance. I'm sorry, you're going to do that at the very beginning. But there's a reason for it. It's because as we go through the lecture, and we start speaking to um, what influences stock prices, then it has meaning to you because you have a portfolio you need to nurse. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, question: Did you ever um, say the due date for the for the, for the presentation? Um, you you you, got, you, got, you guys are going to select your stock stock portfolios. Um, I would like to have you um, your if, uh, ideally, if all the groups could have their stock portfolios identified for next class, that will be great. 
don't if everyone it. can do it, what I say to do for, do for now, do it, you guys do it individually, you see? And then you'll share it with your classmates come next week. So they would, then, um, and they would only have to then do their portion of the portfolio. So just select your stocks or whatnot. You don't have to do no analysis, no, no, um, no formal analysis. You can just do a quick and a, a review of select a few companies um, from the, um, the, the, the price history index mm -hmm. and your own love or interest in it. If someone might have, to have an interest in automotive and therefore that may be what they, they want to invest in. Someone may have an interest in fashion and design, they may want to invest in that. Travel. Exactly, energy and oil. So, for example, if you have a certain interest, say an oil company and you do 10 oil companies, that's fine. Um, you, want you could do that, but, but that, that, that's that's risky I'm because that's you. one industry. Yeah. So would you, you know, your, um, you could do that if you wish, right? Some 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 companies, some persons invest just in one sector because they say that's what I know and that's what I know. But what happens when the bottom falls on that whole industry? You see, that's why you have your you weigh it, bearing in mind that you, this is a portfolio. You, you have an imaginary client and you say, well, we want to put a little bit in here, a little bit in there, a little bit there. You don't have to go in 10 different industries. I would say maybe three, four industries and select it. Two or three in this and two or three in that, two or three in the other. But makes it interest, make it interesting to you. you. You might have, don't forget, you can choose from banks to hotels to airlines. Oil and uh, or energy sources and things of that nature. You could choose retail like Walmart and Target and this and the other. You see, so uh, the whole bunch of things that you invest, you can you, you you can decide to invest in. What you might want to do, um, and, uh, um, don't confuse yourself too much. What you do is you you go with what interests you. If you want to, guess what, guys? Who's free? Well, not free, but free, relatively free resource is the, the, the um, whatever guardian or tribune that you have to you get in any event. They all have um, yeah. of the the foreign um, section there that you can um, get selected and see what what they're speaking towards. Just read the paper, see what they're speaking towards, right? And doesn't necessarily be in the, the financial section. See what what they're all talking about. You see, and, and go use that as your guide. But what we're going to do is we're going to get your portfolio set up immediately, right? And then you'll understand all, we could iron on all the kinks as to how the Excel spreadsheet works, get that all perfected. And then all, the only thing you're going to be doing each week after that is your, your stock updates. So it'll just be a weekly update instead of a daily? No, 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 no. You do your weekly updates in terms of your posting. Okay. Right. You can monitor every day or periodically. But we want at least on uh, um, um, weekly postings there, okay? And then, then I'll come to you one second. And then um, as we go through it, um, um, probably just before midterm, as we would have gone through more lectures, then at that point in time, I would say I would like for you guys to do a presentation on your portfolio, your group portfolio. Why you chose that, 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 that portfolio of stocks and those individual companies, and then you defend it. And that's basically in a nutshell. So just the clip notes on the on each um, um, company. We'll I'll give you more guidance in, as we get close because I'm not I, the, I have the yeah, schedule of things that you should consider. You'll be provided with that among mm -hmm. other things, and that that will help you. But we'll do that straight away so that week after next we could we we will I'll be, I want to like to start speaking towards the um the, the your your notes the money and capital markets. What is the money and capital markets? I mean, at the end of the day, you can know all of this too. That's fine and good in terms of just you doing it on, on, a, on a functional, practical um, 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 approach. But this still is an, an academic course. And you get to take your final exam, and your final exam, the exam is going to say, what is the money market? What is the capital market? How's the money mar capital markets? How are the money and capital markets regulated? What are they used for? Um, what the money and capital markets in the Bahamas, what does each one of those comprise of? And who regulates them? So we can start going into that aspect of it. But it'll have more meaning and more interest to you 
because you have your portfolio, okay? And when you talk about the whole history of it, don't forget that uh, um, what caused, the, the, what, what brought about the, um, the, the whole, you know, your history of the, um, the regulation of the United States uh, um, whole financial sector. What brought about that regulation? The what brought about the regulation in the first beginning? The Great Recession, the Great Depression. We had persons literally jumping out of the windows because after that point in time, there was no regulation, right? And if you studied accounting, you did all your did the fundamentals of accounting and the other accounting uh, uh, classes, and they talk about GAAP, generally accepted accounting principles. Who issued GAAP? Right? Who who issues GAAP? FASB. Right, but the Financial Accounting Standards Board issues gap. And when you look at all of the gap, they have general, and they literally, if you get an accounting textbook, a really good one that you had in the old days when I did my accounting degree, you had at the very, on the, on the cover of your textbook, you had um, um, gap one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, from ju just as they entered another um, 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 policy, they issued, they just with number. One to, one to whatever till the like, kingdom come. And what happened, you read through it, and each, read, each one of those generally accepted accounting principles is because um, as they were bringing regulation uh, uh, um, and, and, and governance to the accounting profession, they would issue a, a, new, a new policy saying, hey, you can no longer do this, this is how you have to treat this. And then companies would try to get creative, so try to do this, that, the other, and then um, the, the powers that be, because for whatever reason, they would say, well, listen here, this is now having a negative performance. It's not intended that you do that. And so persons with what they're called loopholes. And, and what FASB strives to do is to keep on. Before they first, when they first became regulated, loophole was like this. And FASB continues trying to close that loophole. But every time there are companies around in the United States that continue trying to say, to, to fact come up, well, how do we get around this loophole without breaking fast the guidelines? And that's what GAPS is all about, in a nutshell. So when you read through the history of it, all the recent, these recent uh, uh, um, rulings that came about, right, with the information is right inside your, 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 your election notes, is with, um, the servants obviously act and, and the like were designed to try to further close some of those loopholes. Okay, so this is these are things that we'll get 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 to, and then now you'll understand why I say that the financial the, the, the money and, and capital markets in the Bahamas is at its infancy stage, right? It not to be beyond it's at its embryonic stage, sorry, because um, it's it's in terms of the activity, there's not much to, to at stake, quite frankly. You know, if if if, if that um, drops today tomorrow, it's not going to really have a direct impact on many persons, and not even on many companies. The major plays, and I'll and we'll go through um, the role of the money capital markets in the Bahamas. The major plays really are the, the financial institutions themselves. Why? And we'll talk about this. Um, the banks have to maintain certain what they call liquid liquid asset liquid ratio, and. What they're trying to do is if there's certain tools in, this, in, in the money capital markets that you can invest in. That's the reason why the biggest thing they invest in is T-bills and government registered stock. That's the reason why your treasury department and your financial controllers, are right, you have um, uh, um, hand of those and, and Hubert, every time when, when those T-bills come up, they try to get as many of them as possible. Because under the regulation uh, of, um, under, under, that's fine. We give them permission. Under when, under the regulation of banks in the Bahamas, the central bank said you must have a certain amount on reserve. Yep. Whatever that percentage of reserve, the return and income on that is zero point zero. So for every deposit, a separate deposit from the banks, from the, they have to take that that and place that with the central bank. They cannot invest in it and they get absolutely nothing in return. So over the years, with a lot of the commercial banks in trying to do the Bahamas, say, well, okay, well, can we then put some of this into safe instruments? And they say, no, 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 no. And it took a long time for them to get permission to say, well, okay, well, you know what? You can put some of it in treasury bills, but you only can put this percentage. 
you can put some of it in government register to stop reading this percentage. And, and they gave, it, but, but we're trying to find other means for them to invest in. But all of this is we're going to get into and become much more interesting. But this is going to be more exciting and fun far. Okay? Good night, good night. Okay? So we'll get there. And I, once again, I really do apologize. So I would say I'll try to be here for six. Next time. Okay. Yes. Oh, sorry. You have a question. Yes. Have a question. Me. I answer. You good? You do answer next time. Yeah. Okay. Okay. No one. 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 I even forget my the I think I think I think I think I think I because um, the group, you and your group, you put the like, just as I bring the table guys, right? And if it's just three of you, and this is a very good question, if the three of you, if you have your list of ten, if you have your list of ten, you have a list of ten, you get together and then you talk about it. So why you selected this one? But then that's part there of your, of your training to defend your portfolio. So you, and he's going to defend his portfolio. He can send his portfolio. So we say, okay, well, this is what we do. Um, it's three of us. Um, we each you select any three you want of your portfolio, three of his portfolio, three of her portfolio, and then try to have some consensus with one there, uh, one some left sort of over. Persuasion. Right. But the, it, it's possible that when you have your list of 10, she might have four of them. You might have one or two. You see? So you it, you all have a meeting of the minds and come up with, with all, all of that 30. You know, uh, um, if there are 30 completely ones, different ones, you may say, okay, fine and good. Um, let's then. Um, the stronger ones. Let, um, let's then, then you do your, um, your three, you do your three, you do your three. If, if there are some common ones, to make them say, but let's take those common ones straight. We let's go with those common ones straight because I have that, you have that. Okay, so that's that. So how much more we have left? Yes. Like that. So just process that. that. And then once you once you all once you all have that, uh -huh. and you all all you have is ten list of companies. You have your Excel sheet safe with the ten, which is same as her, same of him, as him. And each day, all of you all plot the price, or one of you all get the price and call it into the others. You see, but everybody's or you could still plotting all of the price. I mean, everybody still have to do the Only same. one's gonna, only one is gonna come to the board. Only one will be turned into me. But what you'd want to do is each one of your. I want everyone to still have that Excel spreadsheet right. on their laptop or at work or somewhere. They don't know, they know how to use it updated. Okay, and so we present one or Just present all ten. You're gonna present all ten. It's one one Excel spreadsheet. No, I don't mean. Right. Excel. Oh, you do. Mean now for the, the rationale. Yeah. You're gonna to have to present or uh, uh, give a rationale for all ten. But the strongest one, I think you said, will go into more detail or something like that. No, no, no. No, you're gonna, you're gonna, all you're gonna, gonna go do, do that. You, detail, you're gonna do detail for all of them. But, but you don't have to go. Uh, uh, um, you don't. Know, if, if there may be one company that you feel strong, you know, strongly, about. strongly about, or that's your strong seller, so you make one. Uh, develop that one more, right? Or uh, you might, you, what you might then want to then do is to say, well, use that one as a standard, right? And then you you you, uh, you do your presentation, do a, your, a really good presentation on that, and then you can say when you do, you do the second com company, you can then say similar to that. Our second company is also a, a household name. Okay, so you it's also another brand, and, and uh, it has all. It also has stable. Um, uh, um, uh, um, 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 historic once prices. Once we see like the outline on so, paper or whatever, right. we'll get a what, clear understanding. What, what you then do is, th th this, is this is how you go about it. If you went with, you have Disney, um, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, and, uh, and General Motors, right? Um, you may say that 
we I, you went with companies that are well known um, and well established um, companies in the United States. You also went with companies that have a long history mm -hmm. of financial performance and whatnot. Find some commonality with them. So you could do an overview without speaking to any one company. Yeah. So you could speak to, to the structure of your portfolio and say these are all well structured, well, well um, stable companies, they're all financially sound, they've all been in, in, in uh, existence for, for, for decades, if in, anywhere from the last 20 years, in, some ca in, in the case of um, Boom Boom Boom, and as long as 150 years in the case of Coca-Cola, I don't know. So you could do a general overview of your entire portfolio and then you can say, we now present our, our portfolios individually, starting with Disney. We chose Disney because, as indicated, it is a, it is a household name. It has a, a high brand loyalty, the sympathy of and you can speak to that. Then you can say that we also chose a newer company in the form of Starbucks. Although Starbucks is new, been in existence since whatever day, mm -hmm. it, is, it has now become a, 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 a well-known brand. Um, it, it, um, it is catered primarily to by the, um, um, the, um, uh, um, in the middle class and, up and high income um, earners, um, but they support it because it's a very trendy product and it has a strong presence in the college communities, this and the other, yes. its financial performance is this and the other. You don't want to go too, too, too long and you'll have a template that I'll give you to say, well, these are the major points you want to cover. So, um, question. And you get creative with um, it. Stuff like that, I don't know. Like you, um, like you were saying, like if it is, for instance, three of us, would it be um, advisable? Like, for instance, she do a presentation on one, then when you get to the second one, whereas I have something to say, that is where you can see that okay, everyone was knowledgeable and doing some sort you of research. Do, you, you, you can do that, or one person, you could do one person doing an overview of each company. You could do one person doing the, the financial um, um, the financial um, 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 and aspect price history of all. Of, of all. One doing the marketing aspect or the, or the global recognition, the market recognition. But then they'll only be short clippings, like that. short clippings for the presentation, but then in actuality you would want to do it. Or if you, have, if you have a very good speaker within your group, then use that one good speaker. You to see, present and to present everything. Um, you and, and what you could do is, but you'll have everyone present, everyone can yes. do that. You know, if if it were me, right, and I selected companies and stuff like that, right? If you selected Starbucks, right, then bring bring the class, which class members? We ain't uh, worry about them. We can a bring you some. Right? Oh, we can bring so, you or you, or you all could, Coke soda. Like that. Right. Or if you selected Coca Cola, you could you know a case of Coca Cola is not gonna be yeah. that much. Or you could just buy well, a, the, the, you could just buy the liter yeah. and some cups. No, and stuff like that. So there are different the things yeah. about it. But it's huge. not going no, to be. I know. You could you could get a creative how you do it. When I did my MBA, one of the things we had to do was. We had to do our marketing class. Um, yeah, we I had to do a, we select each other to select a company and, and you do a presentation of that company. When I did my class, right, I was the leader for that. We did Disney Cruise Live, not Disney. We did a Carnival Cruise Live, okay. right? And it was all about BSing, right? Yeah, no, I when did so any customers. When we did, also. when we did, when we did our, our group presentation, we said, okay, fine, good, we're going to set up. And we asked all the, everyone to exit the classroom, and then when we set up, we, we set up, set it up. We had one on the side of one of the the, um, the tables. We had a very colorful plastic table thing there, just a little bit, a little um, tropical eats and treats and stuff like that. Or some of the class members just got some fruits and cut them up. I remember her doing that. Um, we got um, boarding passes for our students and as we set up everything, one of us they went, went outside and gave each class in. as it came in, this is your boarding pass. Mm -hmm. We got the, the, um, the, air, the air freshener and we just sprayed that classroom, just freshen it up and stuff like that. We had some, um, some um, island music playing and stuff like that. Uh, and these are the things that we did. They we went overboard. And then the, the icing on the cake was on, the, um, on one of the desks and set in the classroom. We had a model of Carnival Cruise Line. Oh, wow. I did my MBA in Florida, right? The good thing is that a lot of the stuff, a lot of the props that we got, 
you were in, well, not necessarily inexpensive, you know, but a lot of props you got or after class, we went and returned it and got our money yeah. back. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know? but you can. Yeah, yeah. Well, we, did we did it. We did it. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did Yeah, we did it. Yeah, we did it. Well, I know I did because we did it. We did it. We bought it. Yeah. I mean, you can take it down and you can buy it. You can borrow it. You bought it, but you can't buy it. Yeah. And then another time we did for another class, I forget what that one was, but it's a presentation as well. And we, it was on some shoe. I was not the leader on my camera. We did so many presentations, I can hardly remember them all. But on that particular one, they went, and, and um, Ileana, she's Colombian, and so we just sort of got a few shoes and stuff like that. And um, this is one of, I, 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 was, I never felt as poor as in my life as when I was doing my MBA, because my classmates, they were just these little virtual kids and stuff like that. And um, she went and she just bought a whole bunch of shoes, um, tennis and whatnot, and when, we had them all set up and stuff like that. And at the end of the class, she returned every time one of them. <laughs> you know? Okay. But then, what I'm just telling you is you can get as creative yeah. as you want okay. to with and it. And then with the chart, mm -hmm. we have to plot a chart out for every one of the companies. Even though we have the Excel sheet, like how the chart was when you showed it, where it shows where No, it you, what you'll do is you'll use, power, you'll use PowerPoint. You'll use PowerPoint. Just You'll just use PowerPoint presentation. And you know, on the PowerPoint presentation, uh, how, when you present it, if you want to present one company and go through the whole thing, you can do that. If, we, if you want to just do an overview and then you speak to, the, to the, uh, the brand recognition of all of them and the historic price of all of them, you can do that. And the paper-based one, we make sure everything is in it for you. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so I'll give you, I'll give you yeah. some, some, some uh, I'll give you the detailed guys. I have one last question to ask. What is your success rate in passing this class? <laughs> um, my students generally do very well because no, I, I mean, out of let's say for instance, out of ten, how many pass your class out of ten? Who one pass? Let's say like ten out of ten will pass. I is a yeah, I, I've heard awesome is, things about yeah. you. I'm not gonna lie. It's yeah. just that who wants the pass? Or I know what they mean by awesome. Yes, I mean I don't. I am so <laughs> I sorry. Don't I, 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 no, no, you don't give away. No, grades, when I mean it, okay, I you work with work. Yes, yes that's what I've heard. I'm so sorry. I think about in the mind frame of work now. Yeah, because we just say awesome at work. Um, but you give them an opportunity to do their work and get grades for it. You don't give away grades because you do great hard. However, but then I also hear you don't return back papers. Huh? You don't return papers back. That's what I heard. No, I don't. I don't. I'm not. That's not one of my flaws. I am not paying. <laughs>